Okay, so today we're going to continue with looking at the traits of the 1400. Because we've looked at the traits for the 1500, 1600, 1700, 1800, uh, then I mentioned the 1200. And in a nutshell, these are ideas and concepts that I can use in order to sort of like try and add a little bit more oomph to my game in the decisions of the moves that I'm making. Um, so in essence, to get a fuller package of the game of chess for myself, it's about, well, okay, when it comes down to the crunch, if there's a particular move that you want to make, and it's a crucial point in the game. This can happen in the blink of an eye, these decisions. But basically looking more in terms of the value of that move, the potential viability of that move, how strong is that move in your world, not compared to anybody else's world. Because as we've mentioned before, we only go up to the 1800 because in my world, only in my world, and anybody can judge. Oh, that looks like we've started. One second. Okay, so we're looking at 1400. We'll do a monologue later on. But in essence, what we're looking at is the decisions that are made. And then from those behaviors, it's an understanding of the opponent, basically, how you can derive your own um, ideas and concepts about the opponent's playing style and system. So the 1400s, in essence, would usually, they're really good at strong attacking. They like a mini version of the 1800 in that they, they like to attack um, and they can kind of work their pieces together, but in the back end their defense it's usually fairly non-existent this is a massive generalization and it's not pigeonholing anybody but we are monitoring we are following 1400 these two are actually the same level 1400 each so we're just checking this game just to have a look at the traits of the 1400 so in essence yes strong attackers like attacking not really comfortable with defending and so that's a strong trait that i believe is in the 1400 so if i'm playing like a 1400 then i'll try and use that in my defense so if i know that they're coming out strong i know their back end is going to be weak because they're not focused on actually defending and they don't kind of care what you can do to them you know, so all they're caring about is definitely what they're going to do to you, which can give a little bit of a hole in the armor. So as these this is dem uh, these are demonstrating here, he's focusing on driving through towards the king, and it probably might work, but at the same token, he's just lost a rook. So he may have done that on purpose, you know, because uh, maybe he's thinking that that's a sacrificed rook. I'm closing in on the king. But they do like to attack, but not really defending. And this is the case in point again. I mean, it's bringing this bishop back, it's attacking. Um, his pieces aren't really developed at the moment. So just like with the 1800s, yes, they, they're nice and good. And they, tr they attempt to work their pieces together as best possible. But... They're kind of focused on going for that killer punch, that killer blow. Maybe working the pieces together a little bit more might help with a better continuation and uh, working together of the pieces. So at this moment in time, you see single attacks coming out here. So there's no meat on the bones at this moment. It's waiting for this queen to move so that then this queen can come and put a check on the king. But now his king is home alone and he's lost his rook again. All because these pieces are out in the wind. <laughs> They've done an initial attack and 
then they didn't support each other up towards attacking the king area. The initial idea was good, as you could see. Got the queen in that nice position. And then the bishop kind of took itself away from the situation a little bit. Because usually the queens can't, can't do it by themselves. So now black's doing the same type of thing. He's um, coming in, all guns blazing. As you can see, the pieces really aren't working together. I think that's an idea to really focus on just working them a little bit in unison so it makes for a better finish if you are going to finish because pieces are supported you know as they're working towards attacking the king okay so another single attack just attacking the pawn which is away from the actual king area so now obviously he's giving space for an attack on his king not saying that his king's going to get checkmated because he's only he's got a bishop and a rook. Could look to try and hide away up here. Potential problems being this here. If he tries to hide a bit further up, I suppose he might escape. Bishop's come, uh, yeah, can't get in there. But it's a bit dangerous moving the king all the way up there into the enemy territory. So, in essence, how would they close this out? And the... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, like I say, the king's probably going to end up coming all the way up here. It might get lucky because the bishop can't really... Once it gets here, maybe the bishop can come instead of the queen attacking. So then that's developed that pieces. But, like I said, defence, they do not like to do defence. 1400s, definitely... Um, they don't like to do defense again it's just a generalization not every 1400 jumps into these sort of things but as part of the assessment of playing somebody of that kind of level um, in my brain I say okay well in a crucial state at a crucial stage in a match against say a 1400 my brain would go okay what are what are the characteristics of this player and what do i know about the moves that are actually on the board and um, based on all the answer concepts and processes that we've worked on and and the characterization and the traits all jumps in there as well as to make my decision as to what move i'm actually going to make yep are they going to be more of an attacking player in my head you know based on the crucial position that i'm in or are they going to be more defensive and work their pieces together? So with a 1400 in this top sort of position, you'd say, well, okay, all they're going to do is attack. They're not going to really think about defense. So is there something on the back end that I can actually attack and go for? It's going for like a discovered check now on the king. So it's probably good. Well, okay, it's Mosey and his king up, like we said, but we didn't really hit this angle. That's too central, I think, really. But, um, yeah. That's, oh, dear. Right, okay. Um, and the queen has gone. Yep, so not thinking about the back end or defence work. Um, a crucial, crucial stage. Good at attacking. Good at coming out of the um, starting box. Good at... Um, it looks like they're working the pieces together when they're doing their attacks but it's maybe like almost like the 1600 in a sense where they do the one two type things but they're like single attacks that look like combination attacks which makes it look like their pieces are working together but they aren't actually they're just going right i'm going in there i'm attacking and i'm going to just give you what for and I don't really care about defense because the amount of attacks that I'm going to put in on you, you're not going to have time to attack me. It's a sort of thought process that goes on there. I know what I mean anyway. So, in essence, the 1400 is strong. They're powerful. Probably more wary of them playing a 1400 because... 
they can shock and surprise you when they come out and do their attacks. But then if you can weather that initial attack, um, you start to see massive gaping holes in the back end of their play. Usually, in general terms, and that's if you're looking for it, and if you've got the skill, ability and experience to actually carry it off. Okay, and I don't know if the opponent's taken a pause or what. We, we do have them on watch. Um, so, as you can see, I've, I've got, um, there's just a little bit of an add-on to the titles of these latest streams. Um, I'll, I'll be re removing them soon, but uh, engine users are not welcome um, anywhere near me or anything that I'm doing um, within my my little mini streams. I'm nobody, so I'm not asking anybody to come and challenge me from the higher realms, um, because I did say I wasn't going to do the traits of the 1900s and the 2000s, etc. But I am going to do that now, <clears throat> based on my recent experiences. So uh, watch out for those ones. Uh, they'll be coming soon, probably later on today. And yeah, engine users not welcome here. So anybody coming challenging me, etc., um, you need to come correct. All right, I don't play against computers. And if you're going to use a computer against me, um, let me know, tell me, and then I'll say, well, yes, okay, I'll play against you with your computer. Or it gives me the option to say, well, no, and kindly decline the offer to play against your computer you know um i prefer to play against humans because obviously um that's the usual expectation of playing against a person so you think um i'm not about the cleverness i'm not about showboating yeah um with within our chess gym uh, youtube site we're basically as we've mentioned in the about section it's like for zero to 1800 players who want to improve um and it's a quirkier way of actually learning how to how to develop in chess you know how how i've developed in my own chess world is different to how other people will develop in their chess world they they've dropped down from the 1400s they're now in the 1391 Okay, so they do have aspirations of 1400, so we'll still stick with them. So let's see, have they, um, are they suffering from battle scars or are they going to continue? I don't think they can change their trade. I believe they'll still continue attacking unless if, if they go into themselves too much, they're going to be way too defensive. Okay, so it's out with the bishops so, or no, it's um, back on track. So that's an attack, but then he's playing against the 1400 and mid 1400. So this um, a player is going to fall into that trait quite nicely. Attack, 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 as we can see here. So just have a look at the back end, the blind spots now for both of them. So the knights come up, attacking again. Queens out, attacking. Yep. So all they do is they just do a, a whole blitz of moves. Just attack and attack and attack and attack. And it does look really good. But like I said, the working together of the pieces generally isn't the isn't the mainstay for the 1400. It's more a case of I'm attacking, don't care about defense. You have not gonna you're not gonna have time to attack me with the amount of hurt that I'm gonna put on you. So it brings the queen through, attack again, attack again, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that so long as really you, you feel like you're supporting your pieces and they're working together towards a, the, the same goal rather than individual pieces having their own goal and then not nothing comes together uh, in the end result. So attack, attack, there we go. So some pieces are going to be just flying off the board. Now, is it queenside castling here or is he waiting to develop these pieces out? Hmm. So this <laughs> this pawns come and supported this bishop. I think they might be suffering from that last game, you know. 
because it is a little bit eh. he's gonna have to move I'm surprised he didn't take the bishop here as, as well but he can take it down the bottom so again attack attack and he's left the knight open and this knight could have taken this <laughs> oh dear with me that's surreal okay right so definite strangeness going on here so no thought of defense feeling cool that his knight's in a good position thinking he's controlling the show with the knight and all the while he's allowed the bishop to come all the way back here to take a piece that was unprotected no defense yeah so falling quite nicely into the traits of the and they do all like all this sort of fancy stuff as well you know x-raying through So it's a bit like the last game, the last game showed that type of uh, play. But it's knowing when to actually kick in the decision as to using these traits of the ratings. I'd say you just do it as you're in the game and when there's a critical moment. I wouldn't do it straight off the bat and go right okay they're definitely going to do this that and the other you have to wait and see and get a feel for the game because then they could have a mixture of behaviors and that then takes it on to the next level <laughs> and we'll be covering that in the 1900s and the 2000 level okay so that's uh, quite I'm quite pleased that they've fallen into this realm here because like these pieces they're trying to work together but the back end is still defenseless so stuff's all over the place bishops all here there it looks like they're working together but they're kind of singular at the moment same with black's pieces and bishop here got the knight here rooks all over the place king is not even castled so it's um, it's good to watch yeah and I, I am by no means slagging off these players or you know, like um humiliating anything i'm looking at these with genuine genuine eyes of what i like to see <laughs> when i'm playing a player the weaknesses and the strengths as well and just go well okay this is how this is how we know what we are going to do next in our next move and there's no guarantees that it's going to be the perfect move at all in any way shape i mean that there's no real perfect move apart from if you're using an engine or you you've learned to play like a computer type thing again that leads on to the 1900s to 2000 level going upwards and upwards so in essence you're now is piecing stuff together a little bit at a time okay king's trying to escape it's probably gonna but this rook is blocking this area so he can't do that just chasing him around rook can take the bishop so it's kind of a bit awful here now for black but he may <laughs> no maybe not look at this poor rook rook don't have any place in the center of the board oh he was looking to do the step ladder wasn't he but it's probably going to come here so he's got that pain now probably best yeah, well maybe not there's no best oh he's um he's taking some he's taking some serious hits is that um our 1400 who is now a 13 80 something now on this um 1400 they're now 1375 so maybe i should um ease off of these ones a little bit because obviously they might be having a bit of a tilt moment but like i say you can't change your traits if they were 1400 yeah, they're now playing a 1570 so playing a high-end 1500 and basically the 1500s as we know they understand the game they attempt to try and put their pieces together their failings were not castling and 
not really continuing the attack on. They're starting to get arty. You know, the arty play where keeping the tension type stuff kicks into play. And usually they fall short because then once they do the arty, they've locked everything down and then they've got nowhere to go and their pieces aren't working together. So they end up suffocating themselves in a sense. But it's just the generalizations. Yeah, you make your own generalizations. Some may just go, I'll just play the board and I don't need to know anything about the rating level because at the end of the day, that rating might not be true. And that's very true because we don't know the, the makeup of the person. They might not play online all the time, you know. Um, there could be a grandmaster and they've only played one game or something on, on the online. So they're like 1100 or something like that. So you, you can't gauge, but in essence for like over the board play as well, you, you could have that same psychology if it came to the crunch of a move. What can I expect this person to actually do if I did this? You know, what's their response going to be based on the characters and traits that I understand for that particular rating level? It might be that you actually know the person. So if you know the person, you can tie those sort of traits into your game and your answer process. So these are all techniques and strategies that you can bring into play just to understand the trait, the, the, the way that the person behaves on the board in order to try and improve your potential valued moves. So it's now closed down, there's no pieces working together, the attack has floundered, so now, like I said, they don't know about defence and the back end is gone. <laughs> oh dear. Again, I'm not laughing at this play player, I'm just laughing at the situation because it, it agrees with the traits that we're talking about. Okay, so they're bringing the bishop out, doing a single attack here, and can almost feel like they feel like it's too late to the party all this stuff here for 1400s don't like this sort of position they want to just explode out there and um, just get pieces off the board just keep on attacking and they don't want to think about defense so this is really heart-wrenching for the 1400 for the 1500 they're in their element because they're practicing the arty stuff you know the um, mistake to take, just keeping the tension, you know, so that's that's what they're about at this stage. So they're, they're loving it. They've blocked off all the attempts of the 1400. So they're just sitting back now, not even castled at this moment in time. Um, but that's one was one of the feelings was the fact that they were so arty that they don't even castle. It's probably going to castle now though, surely. But the big fit, no, it's not castle. Big failing was with not castling, then the king was in the center of the board. We did see quite a few of those where the kings were in the center of the board for ages, and then they paid the price. I'm not saying the 1400 is going to take advantage of that in this situation because their attacks have run out, they don't work their pieces together generally. So I can't really see any change or shift in that type of thing. I mean, probably looking for some type of cheap thing here. Looking for some pressure here, but it's nice here. So it's defending at this moment in time. But specifics are specifics. The general idea is that at this moment in time, the 1500 is in their element. But they have to start doing something. I don't think there's enough power or weight from the 1400 to actually cause them any damage. So who actually wants to win the game? You know, does the 1500 actually want to win the game? Or are they just wanting to sit back and just say, well, I've held them off. I don't need to do anything else. I've held them off. I'll just keep the tension. Which won't help because at the end of the day, the 1400 wants to come out and explode. And they will do. But they're just going to, their back end's going to be shot. So they've actually captured. So he's opening up space a little bit now. He's saying, well, I've got more more minor pieces than him so let's take let's come with the bishop what's he gonna do gonna tap him here still not castled yet probably genuinely should pay the price for not castling 
but we shall see how it transpires. If the 1400 grabs a little bit of luck somewhere with his explosive attacking type mentality, and then they will. But I can't see it, but we will see. We'll see. It'll be a sh it won't be a shocker if, because he's not castled, that's why he ends up losing the game. So they're taking a while. Okay, takes with the rook. Mm, fair enough. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. But that's easily kind of attacked, you see. So he's going to have to come back again. Whereas so maybe the bishop coming here, he could still have dropped the pawn. We've got play here, but then that drops. Hmm. Yeah, even more. It's like a sitting duck, that one. So single little tiny thing here. Don't know why I would have preferred the bishop still, because it still would have been attacked, wouldn't it? But. Hmm. I suppose it made no difference. It's just that it's a higher piece being attacked. Probably would have sent out the minor piece. So trying to own the file, but it's already owning the file when it's back here. And it's got no other pieces, so it's just going to come back. Oh. Was that a give up move or is there method in his madness? So that's just straightforward taking here, isn't it? Okay, maybe he's going for a piece for a piece type thing, but that was very strange. What? What? <laughs> that's way too arty. <laughs> 1500 going for keeping the tension big style. Wow! <laughs> oh dear me! And allowed his knight to get taken. Opens up this here. <laughs> oh my days! That's funny. Okay, so it takes, but then obviously nothing's taking it back. I don't know why he didn't bother taking. You know, of <laughs> I don't get that. I don't get that. Okay, yeah, keep it, there's, I think there's times when capturing a higher piece is key. Am I missing something? If it takes, then the bishop would just take. Now he's moved it. Yeah, it, it just, there's something wasn't right with that. He could have just taken that rook off the board. The bishop would have been sat here, but there's nothing major there. Way too arty, that one. So now the 1400 is attacking. They're just going in there, all guns blazing. They were always focused on trying to go for this, but realistically, it doesn't really have much legs. I mean, this pawn is just trying to drop here. And there's, there's not much going for it, really. Unless I'm missing something and he's going for some sort of sacrifice. Takes, takes, yeah. takes with a check on the king. King just moves out of the way. Nothing meaty. Gets this rook here. Yeah, might just go for some explosion, might he? Because defence, defence ain't his bag. Ooh, so he's over here with uh, no protection. So he must surely smell blood now. He's going in for it. He's going in. Keeping the tension is his baby, so... If he takes, I will be very surprised now. Takes, takes, rooks back up again, but then look at that fork. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear. The 1400's going to fall for it, aren't they? But because Mr. 1500 is all arty, he might be too lazy and say, well, no, I'm not going to take. You know, it's a mistake to take. But you should, shouldn't you? Rook takes, look at that. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? If I can see it, the whole world can see that move. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, fairly comfortable that we've kind of demonstrated the the traits of the 1400. And yep, comfortable with being able to bring that into the answer process quite nicely in order to help, maybe in a small way, um, the decisions of our moves, the potential value. Oh, he's gone for it anyway, but he's gone for it on a smaller, smaller piece because the bishop can take with a check. Dear me, he took all that time. He's got a check on the king, so he gets the piece and then moves his queen out of the way. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Wrong move order, I think, there. Should have been take. So the 1400s hit. Oh. Oh, I feel, I feel sick. Oh, dear. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, and that's done. Okay, right, that'll do for the fourteen hundred.